Hi everyone, welcome you all. This is Pawan. So in this video, I am going to explain about uh, how we need to do estimation for our project. Software test estimation technique. So first of all, let us see what is software test estimation. So test estimation is a management activity basically which approximates how long a task would take a complete to take to complete. So estimating effort for the test is one of the major and very important tasks in test management activity. Okay, so why test estimation? Why we needed? Uh, why we required a test estimation? That we need to understand first. So before this, before going to this, there are two questions we can expect from the customer. What are those two questions? How long will this testing take, and how much will it cost? So for small projects, these questions are relatively easy to answer. But for big projects or big websites, you must think hard to answer these questions, right? Now, let's see what to estimate. So, we can estimate like resources, we can estimate the time, we can estimate human skills, we can estimate the cost. So, there are different things we can estimate. Like resources means uh, like uh, resources are required to carry out any project task. So, they can be people or equipment, facilities, funding or anything else capable of defining definition required for the completion of a project activity. So what is the time? Time is the most valuable resource in a project. So every project has a deadline to delivery. What is human skill? So human skills means the knowledge and experience of the team members. So they affect your estimation. So for example, uh, a team uh, whose members have low testing skills will take more time to finish the project than the one which has high testing skills. What is about the cost? So cost is the project budget. Generally speaking, it means how much money it takes to finish the project. Okay, so that's about what is what to estimate. Resources, times, human skills, cost. How to estimate? How to estimate? So if you want to estimate something, we have many ways. We will have so many methods like here I have listed out few methods like function point method, three point estimation, use case point method, percentage distribution, ad hoc method. So there are n number of ways are there. But here I'm mainly focusing on functional point method. So how we can estimate our task by using functional point method. The first step here we need to do, uh, we need to follow certain steps here. So what are those steps? Divide the whole project into smaller tasks. So the first activity, we need to divide the complete project into smaller tasks and allocate each task to team members. Each and every task allocate to the team member. Then estimate the effort required to complete each task. So here we use estimation techniques. And the fourth step is validate whether the estimation is correct or not. So these are the four steps we need to follow when you perform an estimation of a, a project or a task. Now let us discuss one by one. First one is divide the whole project task into subtasks. So normally uh, in real time you have a project, a full project can be divided into sub-modules, main modules and sub-modules. Similarly, the full, a bigger task can be divided into multiple subtasks. So here in this particular step, in this particular phase, we have to divide the whole project task into subtasks. So for example here, we need to uh, analyze the software requirement specification. This is the one task and create the test specification. This is another task Executing the test cases are another task reporting the defects is another task So these are all the different tasks we have as especially in the testing So again, these main tasks will be divided into sub tasks. So for example, if I say analyze software requirement specification So which contains us is uh, two sub tasks like investigate the software requirement specification, interview with the developer and other stakeholders to know more about the website and all. Similarly, if I say create test specification as a task, and this is also contains multiple tasks like design test scenarios, creating test cases, review and revise the test cases, and so on. So here, this is the first phase. Divide the whole project task into sub-tasks. Okay, so once we have done this, the next step is we need to allocate these tasks to the team members. This is the second step. So allocate each and every task to the team members. So here 
let us say we have these many tasks analyze software requirement specification creating test specification build up the test environment execute your test cases reporting defects so here we will assign these tasks to the corresponding people like all the members should be analyzing the requirements and tester or test analyst will creating the test specification administrator will build the test environment tester or test administrator execute the test cases and report the defects done by the tester so each and every activity or task will be allocated to the specific team members so that is the second step and the third step is we need to estimate the effort required to complete each task so this is a main important piece estimate the effort required to the complete each task estimate the effort required to complete each task so here effort estimation will be done in three different uh, parts one is we need to estimate the size of the size of the task and how much duration it will take how much cost it will be so these are the three aspects we need to think about when you do estimation size duration and cost now here uh, size duration and cost we are focusing on it so here estimate for the task so now let us see one by one so first we need to estimate the size then duration and finally we'll get the cost now first we'll talk about the size so estimate the size of the task how to estimate the size of the task so every task we have to categorize we need to give a, uh, we need to group those tasks uh, like uh, suppose let's say weightage here we call as a weightage weightage means let's say if the task is complex we'll give 5 as a weightage if the task is medium then we'll give weightage as a 3 if task is very simple then we can give as a 1 so let's have a uh, group all the tasks into three different categories complex medium and simple if the task is complex just give weightage as 5 if the if the task is medium just give weightage as 3 if the task is simple just give weightage as 1 and based on this uh, weightage we need to uh, add all these weightages for every task so for example here i am considering as a uh, one feature called as we have listed out uh, here uh, few tasks right suppose i am taking this particular task create the test specification okay let us uh, estimate the uh, duration effort and price everything for creating test specification task let us see size duration and cost we need to effort for this particular task create the test specification now here each task i will categorize into one group either complex or it comes under medium or it comes under simple now let's go here this is an example so here let us say i have some banking application so which contains uh, so many modules like uh, these are all the different tasks again so balance inquiry fund transfer these are all different modules fund transfer mini statement customized statement change password new customer new account edit customer delete account delete customer deposit withdraw so these are all the different modules i have in uh, in my project let's say this is a banking project so what are the different applicable roles we have here and description so here i have given some description about uh, customer and managers manager and customer will be roles played in the balance inquiry so what customer will do is a customer can have multiple bank accounts he can view balance of his accounts only but what is a manager role a manager can view balance of all the customers who come under his supervision so we need to have a clear picture of that particular module and what are the different tasks we have to perform in this and then we can give proper weightage to that particular task so let us say this is comes under the three i just say three as a weightage for this because i consider this as a medium five is a complex one is a minimum so like this for every module i have clear, uh, created detailed description and just i have given some weightage to each and every task each and every module so this is the task we have to do as part of estimate size for the task okay we need to group each and every task as, as part of the complex medium or simple and then we have given given some weightage here okay and once we have done this weightage the next step is we need to also estimate the duration of the task so this will estimate the first one size we have estimated in the form of weightage right either every task is comes under either 5 or 3 or 1 so that is all about size now based upon this size we need to also effort, uh, we need to also uh, estimate the time duration so how we can do that the next step is 
estimate duration for the task each and every task how much time it will take that we need to estimate so here we have to follow certain formula like uh, total effort is equal to total function points into estimate defined per function point so this is a formula so let us see what is this formula so total effort means the effort to complete three tasks all the functions of the website so what is the total effort means the total effort is a complete completely test all the functions of the website how much time it will take how much effort it will take that's called total effort so this is the thing we need to calculate at the end so if you want to get this value we need we require these two inputs like total function points estimate defined per function point. so these two we require what is total function points total function points means total modules of the website so in the previous slide we have seen total module how many we have we have 12 modules overall and every module we have given some weightage here size we have estimated right so based on this we need to get the function points here so total function points equal to total modules in the website so currently we have 12 here that's a total function points now estimate defined per functional point what is estimate defined per functional point is uh, for example here I have grouped right complex is weightage is 5. So how many function points we have which are fall under this weightage we need to calculate. So for example here 5 is there. Under 5 what are the modules we have under 5? Fund transfer 1, customized statement is 2, new account is 3 and uh, what else we don't have anything. So only 3 modules or comes under the 5 weightage. So under 5 weightage we need to say 3 functional points. Okay, 5, 3s or 15 is a total effort. Similarly, for medium weightage, how many function points we have? Totally 5 we have with the 3 medium. So, 3 into 5, 15. And simple weightage, we have only 4 function points. So, 1 into 4, 4. So, this is the total effort for complex, uh, uh, complex tasks and medium tasks and simple tasks. Now, if you add all these things, we will get the total functional points we will get the total function points now estimate defined per point how we will get estimate defined per function point how we will get is let us say 5 5 is an average so now we will get total estimate effort per hour is 170 how we will calculate this 34 into 5 so that is equal to 170 what is 34 here functional total points this one this is a 34 and estimated defined per function point what is that five this is the average this is the average uh, weightage we'll calculate okay and uh, 34 into 5 is equal to 170 is a total estimated effort person hours in person hours so the total effort to complete the task what is the effort for this this is the effort for creation test specification task Okay, for the project is around 170 man hours. In the create test specification itself, we have these many modules. Okay, so finally we get the duration also. So we get the, in the first slide we get the uh, weightage and now we have calculated the duration. We, have, have, we already have size and we already have duration. Now we need to find out the cost of the project. So next step, uh, cost of the project. So, uh, how we can estimate the cost so that's the third step effort estimation for task how we can do it so this step helps you to answer the last question of customer so in the beginning we have seen customer you will have two questions right what is the what are those two questions one is uh, first question is how long will this testing take and how much will it cost so how long means 170 hours and how much it will take means this much will take so how we need to calculate this is Suppose on an average, your team salary is $5 per hour. Let us say, let us assume $5 per hour. So the time required for create test specification task. To complete this task is 170 hours we calculated. Now, 170 into each hour we spent $5. So 5 into 170. So final total $850 will be cost. Okay. So this is how we need to estimate the task in your testing project okay so that's all for this video and uh, okay sorry we have uh, one more best practices uh, if you do estimation we 
follow certain practices we need to follow certain practices so add some buffer time so when you do some estimation better to have some buffer time because we cannot predict the conditions and situations right we need to always have good to have buffer time and account resource planning is estimation account resource planning in estimation and use the past experience as a reference this will help a lot and stick to your estimation once you have estimated we need to stick to stick to that and recheck the test estimations and make modification if needed so we need to twice or thrice we need to recheck the estimations and then if we need any modification we can do those modifications so these are the test estimation best practices so that's all for this video thank you all to watch this and please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this